Alright, time for another draftphysics.com. Debatephysics.com also. But again, the individual specific arguments that are on the debatephysics.com website will not be argued. And that just takes all the fun out of this, frankly. But anyway, oh, I just <laughs> I just hate it here. It's just funny that it's clear that I am on an alien planet. I mean, there's just... You know, I have so little in common with the average or regular people. You know, I am the ultimate freak or queer or weirdo because I don't get you people at all. So anyway, I made a video just mocking the fuck out of anyone who could give a fuck about an eclipse. It's being anything like an interesting event. Compared to every other event on this planet, I mean, there's not an event happening. You could film almost any part of this planet, any room, any place, and it would be more interesting than a fucking eclipse. I mean, the most uninteresting place you could point a camera as is at the stupid fucking eclipse. It is so fucking predictable. It's so already been there, done that, been there, done that, been there, done that. You just can't find a more uninteresting place to point a camera. Well, anyway, I think I mocked it very well. And this insane person posts a comment and it's just like, they're like bulletproof zombies. It's like you can't hit them with a bullet and they actually die or stop or something. They just don't care. Oh, you made a, a brilliantly funny <laughs> video mocking the fuck out of me and I'm just going to pretend you didn't do it. I mean, it's like he's just prancing with his micro penis right in front of me and it's just like what the fuck all right anyway viewing a partial eclipse necessitates the use of a pinhole for observation it really doesn't okay it's this is all this hype i mean isaac newton actually stared at the sun until he went blind for three days and he went on to write the greatest optic books ever so i guess apparently it didn't ruin him for our life uh, i mean so some of this is just such fucking bullshit hypey nonsense there's lots of ways you can obscure your view or dull the view and you'll be perfectly fine. It's far less uh, dramatic. So, uh, I mean, look, the, the specifics between whether it's a t total eclipse or just a, just a little hair of the bottom of the sun is still showing eclipse. Can you imagine somebody giving a fuck? I, well, I see, I can't imagine somebody giving. I just can't imagine somebody caring. It's like, there's one gray hair on your dog and you go hunt for it. In the zone of totality, you can look directly into the sun with the naked eye. Yeah, for 14 seconds. Uh, big deal, right? Okay, and it appears as though the black hole, a black hole surrounded by a wispy corona has been punched in the sky. And, and, and so the fuck... What? I mean, of all the sites in the world, I'm just saying, I mean, all I need is, like I say, I, I just go to the beach. I mean, one girl in a bikini is about 400 million times more interesting than all the eclipses that ever have eclipsed in the history of the Earth. How the fuck can you people call this interesting? It's quite a sight to behold. You know, I, I mean, I saw an, uh, a high voltage electric line shorting to the ground, okay? Just, you know, nobody shutting it off because the, the electrical workers were on strike. And so it's just pumping megawatts, you know, into the ground. And it was this, you know, I was 30 feet away and it was shaking the ground. And the light was so bright and so intense. And it's... It's melting the, the earth. And the cool part is it was right above a gas line. So the gas line's 10 feet down, so... Eh, eh, eh. But still, you're saying eventually it's going to get there. Eventually. A little more time. And then you watch the firemen pour water on it for a half an hour, and it still creates, you know, smoke-like steam. Now, that's an event worth watching. A fucking eclipse! So I don't know what... I, should, I guess I should see if this is a channel of a real person. Ah, unfortunately not. 
let's see what he says. So a deep look, Astrum. I'm sure that's really cool. Channel five. That has about UFOs, maybe. Uh, Gababilibi, Persian, uh, Kansas Bee Company. Yeah, well, that's pretty exciting. Uh, Minim Miniman, Miniman, Miniman. Uh, way something. Uh, Veritas my Kapalachik. Okay. New ruins. So I don't know any of these chat. Zero. I don't know how he ended up seeing my video. <gasps> I mean, it would be nice if <gasps> people who got here explained to me how they got here because it appears that nobody new ever gets here. I mean, this is the most ungrowth channel. <laughs> you know. Well, it's YouTube, right? So all channels that are ungrowth, unless they're popular, you're dead uh, on the Internet. You just can't be on the Internet. It's just the rules. You're not allowed on the Internet. All right, anyway. I I won't delete it, but I just I, it's spectacularly bizarre that somebody would post a comment trying to defend eclipsery. All right, so the one I want to get to is, so these are, you know, thank you, thank you, comments, okay, people just affirming that, yeah, the world's fucked because everybody's an idiot. All right, anyway, so this Leska, another account, so he creates an account just to harass me, so I tell him, don't email me, and the whole point of saying don't email me is don't bother me at all. All right. I mean, I'm see if if a physicist told me they were going to block anybody who even said anything with the word flat in it, like any comment with the word flat in it, I'm just going to block you because fuck you. I'm not playing. All right. Too fucking goddamn stupid. I would totally understand. I'd, I'd be in total agreement. Yes. You don't have any obligation to argue with liars and cheaters and fucktards because they're just liars. OK, they're not fucking arguing for some sort of theory. They're not really trying to win an intelligence argument. They're just fucking trolls. They're just trolling, okay? They don't believe the world is flat. It's impossible to be a rational, reasonable human being and believe it. It isn't possible. Just like the jurors on the fucking OJ jury all knew he was guilty as fuck and they just didn't care because they wanted to shove a stick up Whitey's ass. Didn't have anything to do with goddamn truth. And neither do flat earthers. And neither do you, Leska, okay? He <laughs> said you proved it. All right, to pretend there's no controversy between these two definitions of motion in the universe, right? There's two definitions and they both fit it. Most, uh, momentum and kinetic energy both fit the same exact definition of objects moving in the universe. And they're assigning completely and insanely different values of energy to that motion. That's a real controversy, fucktard. It's not a fake controversy. It wasn't invented by me. Uh, you're, you know, so fuck you in the ass till multiply dead because you're just playing a stupid fucking game here to pretend Newton was a Leibnizian is retarded. Okay, anyway. Hello, Leska here. Uh, like I could give a fuck. Um, the request to not use your real, uh, your full name is fair, and I deleted the comment from my video. Why don't you just block the motherfucker? I mean, you can't really understand that he's a compulsive about doing it, and this is his whole thing on the internet, and he doesn't have any arguments to make except to harass me in my personal life in some way, and you can't even do this little minimum of saying, well, fuck that, I'm not going to endorse that, I'm not going to let you get away with that, you're not going to pay no penalty for that, but no, you can't even do that. I created this sock account, he's just saying, just to send this message. So he doesn't even get that it's not about you sending me an email. It's about you communicating with me because everything you have to say is obnoxiously silly. I don't have an obligation to argue your bullshit. I mean, especially when you ended an email by saying Descartes was a Leibnizian. It was just so fucking stupid because Leibniz hated Descartes. Okay. Uh, just to send this message without emailing you some points. So I haven't hit this yet. And you're just like, he's not going to make a point. There's, there's no point to make. It's a real controversy, and what we lack is credible evidence. Now, I'll just keep saying, you know, Mythbusters crashed a car. 
They took big cars and smashed them into fucking brick walls, and there was zero evidence. I mean, just absolutely zero evidence of any kinetic energy bullshit. And it was just perfectly consistent with momentum. So a pretty dramatic case, frankly. I mean, that's a really flexible spring if you get my drift here, okay? There's no way you're going to measure that one fucking wrong. So one. Oh, fuck you. All right, there is no uh, if I may say so here. Okay, so I, yeah, I just really, I don't have a, I, I've shown it in my video. I read the document, okay? It's, it's right there. He says right there, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if you see the page in my video, you can see Newton was describing a real experiment, thus trying <clears throat> the thing with pendulums of 10 feet in un, in unequal as well as equal bodies and making... So all he's going to keep going through this horseshit where it's already a known fact that this is a tough read, okay? What Newton says about going in what direction and how, it's all pretty messy and sloppy. And again, I'll just keep saying, there's nothing, there's no confusion right under, the first sentence under his second law. He states clearly, one unit of force, one unit of motion, two units of force, two units of motion, three units of force, three units of motion. And here you're playing this fucking goddamn game that somehow he didn't believe that. He didn't know that he wrote it wrong. So he did a first edition and a second edition and a fifth edition. And all those editions, he couldn't figure out that, oh, I shouldn't have said that. That's completely wrong. Uh, I mean, fuck you. Uh, so anyway, I found always without an error of three inches that when the bodies... Um, concurred together directly equal changes towards the contrary parts so what does that mean equal changes towards the contrary parts were produced in their motions isn't that just saying that they went the momentum went both ways an equal amount of momentum went both ways and of concurrence that action and reaction were always equal so again how is this a debunk of anything i've said you fucked hard what a scum hole. Anyway. And then he gives an example of the results if the bodies concurred with contrary motions. I, they can't hit with non-contrary motions, frankly. All right. Especially with a pendulum. How can you make a pendulum hit something that's already moving? All right. A with 12 parts of motion, B with 6, and then A needed with, re receded with 2. So one of them's heavier, one of them's lighter. So yes, they don't blah, 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 blah. This is exactly according to conventional physics, how it is not disagreeing with you. So this sentence, A with 12 parts of motion and B with six. So where was this extracted from? So again, this is a total quote mine and you're saying this quote mine doesn't have anything to do with what I pointed out, which was the fact that he started with 16 momentums and then he added to to the scenario. So you're saying this isn't in that section. Well, I say that's bullshit. I think you're lying. <laughs> okay. All right. The rule by Huygens includes MV squared were published in Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society of London, Volume 4, Issue 46, 1669. Well, then why didn't anybody pay attention to it? So you're telling me all the Newtonians didn't realize that Huygens was claiming that the conserved amount is mv squared and they didn't need Leibniz to say it because Huygens had already said it at the Royal Society and nobody noticed. Now it's true, maybe nobody noticed. Maybe nobody noticed that that's what Huygens was advocating. No one read the paper, they just said, oh, it's a Huygens paper, blah, 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 blah. Is that what you're saying? The findings of Willis and Wren were published a bit earlier in issue 43. And yeah, we don't know what their findings are exactly, right? Newton just referenced those two. He didn't say those two believed in MV squared. All right, Newton referred to these publications as truth. Uh, see the email. Newton agreed with them. I'm saying he agreed with their documentation of all the stuff they said about motion. I'm just saying, where did they describe this actually happening, the creation of the free energy? So I'm just saying, if the paper doesn't describe the actual creation of the free momentum, how could they know anything about that? 
So you're just saying that this once obscure sentence by Huygens is all there is. The rest of it's just documentation of events that took place. But where is the event where he created three times, you know, uh, nine times the force with three times the velocity? Is there any indication that he ever created that? Or he ever did the experiment of dropping uh, four pounds one foot and one pound four feet? Did he ever do that? So again, you're just playing games with words. Newton was not agreeing with them. He wasn't agreeing with mv squared, clearly. I mean, it's just, I mean, again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with you ever again, okay? So I'm just gonna block your new little fucking account. Leave me the fuck alone, you fucking pathetic, sick, crazy liar. There was a real controversy, this visa, for a hundred fucking goddamn years. There wouldn't have been clay experiments. There wouldn't, you know, Deschartelay wouldn't sit there trying dropping things into sand and doing all her fucking little retarded experiments if there wasn't a fucking controversy, you stupid fucking con. All right, you can find these online. Search, well, fuck you, fuck you. I'm not even going to read that. Okay. Uh, Newton said twice the force, twice the momentum. No, he didn't. He said twice the force, twice the motion. So he didn't quote that right either. So what he says? So what he says? So he overtly says twice the force, twice the motion, twice the velocity. And that's a so what statement in terms of not debunking any notion of V squared, when of course it debunks it. What do you think is the implication? If that is, if that is true also when using conventional definitions of force, how is it true? As long as we assume the time the force is applied is the same. Again, how, how is it possible to convert that into that statement? How is it possible to say that's the same as mv squared? mv squared requires it to say nine times the force, three times the motion. Newton's force equals conventional force times time. Newton's force, what's a Newton's force? Conventional force times time, what does that even mean? I don't even know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Force times force. Force equals force. Newton's force equals conventional force. What are you talking about? It's nonsense. Although Newton used the word also with the conventional meaning where elsewhere in Principia, uh, something that causes acceleration. And acceleration is just a change in velocity. Newton made that clear also. There's nothing special about an acceleration. It's just a change in velocity. All right, so anyway. All right, here we go. The vis visa controversy definitely happened, but it was very complicated and riddled with confusion about concepts. No, it wasn't. It was a clear argument about Leibniz said, you're a free energy nut, and then Newton said back, you're a free energy nut. It's that simple. Fuck you. You're a liar. Okay, people were speaking past each other for a long time. There's no past. There's a fucking square on the fucking velocity. For fuck's sake, how can you confuse that as, well, it's the same thing. What's the difference between a squared velocity and just a regular velocity? There's no difference. Oh, I mean, it's just too stupid. The debate was about the nature, the true nature of motion, whatever that means, and not so much about experimental results. No, it was a, they were citing fucking convoluted experiments. They made up all kinds of silly experiments about whether well, there's a boat on the river and it's going to five miles an hour and the wind is six miles an hour and the opposite. You know, they're trying to all kinds of wacky ways to even the pull pulley argument, right? Because you can make a pulley take twice as long to do the same act doesn't mean it was four times the energy. Okay. Even the historians are not, oh, the historians are just full of shit, okay? They just sit there and say it's semantics. There's nothing semantics about a V squared. That's not semantics. I think, I mean, it's just so bad. It's really, This is just so fucking reconstructionist, lying scummer. I think it started initially because Leibniz saw that the rules by Descartes clearly were not true, and they clearly were, frankly, just read Descartes wrong. Do you think Newton himself took part in it? Uh, I don't think Newton himself took part in it. Um, well, I, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't read all of Newton's letters, okay, for the... 40 years that went through that period, but I'm sure he made enough references to it. Only people called themselves Newtonians, I guess mainly because mv squared was not always 
conserved. It's not ever conserved. In every single collision that you have two different size objects, two, two different weights, you're not going to conserve it. So it was not fundamental according to them. Well, again, it's, it's, it's clear. There's a clear, obvious distinction. MV versus MV squared. I mean, how can you get more simple in terms of a controversy? Perhaps Newton saw elastic collisions as a special case and was more interested in general. Well, why wouldn't he say that? Why wouldn't he just say, fuck the second law? Fuck the third law, right? The third law is fucked in the ass, okay, by your silly MV squared nonsense. Because by the third law, the bullet has 2,000 joules and the gun recoil has two. That's your law. Your law says that's what fucking happens. How is that an equal and opposite reaction? 2,000 watts and 2 watts. How is that equal and opposite, you motherfucker? All right. So just do not bother me, okay, with this flat earth crap, okay? You want to believe there's no controversy. You want to believe they're not completely different theories of reality. They're completely different theories of reality, you dumb motherfucker. God damn it. All right, that's probably enough. I don't think there's anything else. To, you know, go look, see if there's anything else. Better get rid of this just in case, because I'll go to the website. And who knows what some asshole has posted there? Who knows what kind of scum <laughs> you know, lurks? All right, so let's see. What vapes you hit now? Well, that's just too interesting. All right. Hi, Roger from Dublin. Well, that's not too interesting either. So I guess this is a link to the shit experiment. Uh, anyone fuck on here? Well, I don't know how they can fuck on a website, but whatever. I, I guess the answer is no. Uh, are you going to work with... Uh, Mud Man University. Wow, that's really interesting. So I could I could just ask the same question. Are you going to put a you know some statues in the Catholic Church because you're all obviously religious kooks, you know uh, monads and solitons. Are you going to build any monads and any solitons to pray to? I mean that's Leibniz physics. All right. Um, imagine being retarded enough to make the videos you make and then upload them to the world. Yeah, and just imagine that you make a bunch of five-minute videos explicitly diagramming something as simple as, okay, this is what you fuckers believe. And you're going to arrogantly tell everybody else they have to believe it too. They have to be just as dumb and stupid and insipid. So... This action is one unit of energy, right? Just this action, that action, one unit of energy. And I just do that. And all of a sudden, I have four units of energy. And that makes sense to you fucktards. You fucktards think that's possible. That the same exact act, in one case, can make one unit of energy. And in another case, it can make three units of energy. And then if I had put in three on, that third one would have produced an extra seven units of energy. You know, one for this one, and then one for this one, and then now I put that third one on, and all of a sudden now I have nine units of energy. And you're going to try to mock somebody else? <laughs> it's being too stupid to be on the internet? Oh, yeah, sorry. Fuck you. In some appropriate way till you're appropriately cease to be a moron in the universe okay so enough oh god I just, I just, it's just so bad so bad god damn it all right anyway till the next time and such Oh, this has been another futile effort to communicate with people too fucktarded. Just way too fucktarded. I just might as well make don't stick a fork in your eye videos because these people are right on the cusp of being that stupid. 